<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Jerry and His Fishing. As you can see, I love being a YouTuber so much. Um, and I'm glad to be back doing it for you guys. First off, I want to say welcome to my channel. My name is Darian Craig. If you're new here, uh, I make a lot of fishing YouTube videos and I do a lot of other things and I'm enjoying um, life by documenting all of that. And um, it, having all my friends and family and Coco and my wife all in the videos makes it a ton of fun. We just recently moved to this beautiful lake in Hayden, Alabama. And so uh, anyhow, that's kind of a, a quick catch up if you're new here. But if you're not, I hope you enjoy this video. It is a fishing video that I filmed a couple months back or about a month ago using a brand new six cents fishing rod, which I recently unboxed in a video that you guys saw. And I love it. It's become one of my favorite rods and I've used it um, lots since then and one of my buddies recently used it a bunch he borrowed it for a day and said it was one of his favorite rods he's ever grabbed and he actually already bought one so super cool rod very lightweight very strong and i catch a couple good fish out here so it's a lot of fun but i wanted to talk a little bit about i know i've been kind of in and out of youtube and there's reasons for that one day i'll have a <laughs> i'll be able to explain everything but um, essentially, Y'all Sweet Tea has grown so, so, so much faster than we ever would have imagined that it could have. And um, it's just taken all my manpower to be completely transparent with you. I filmed about 15 videos that I wanted to film, that I wanted to schedule, like the one that you're watching right now. I filmed that a while back, right before the tea company got super crazy because I knew that it was, well, I hoped that it was going to, but I knew it was going to consume a lot of my time. So I filmed all these videos in advance so that for I think it was like eight weeks or something, um, I would have videos and I wouldn't have to worry about filming. So I grinded out a ton of videos and uh, honestly, I wasn't able to get them all edited in time. So that was what caused this huge delay. It was not supposed to be, it was supposed to be very seamless, but it turned out not to be. There's some very, very, very huge and very cool things happening with a tea company right now that I can't wait to share with you guys later. But um, that's gonna come maybe in about two or three, four weeks. I'll share all that stuff with you. Give you a big update on what's been happening with Y'all Sweet Tea, because I know a lot of you do care about it. And honestly, even if you don't care, um, <laughs> I don't care that you don't care because it's my life. Like I'm documenting my life. I want one day when I have kids or, or you know whatever it is, I want to be able to look back on this moment in my life where we're doing some amazing things with amazing people huge brand deals life decisions and i want to be able to look back on that one day sit on the couch and uh, be able to show somebody that that what we did and the, the hard work that we put into it and we do the same for youtube and we do the same for the outdoors agency but the tea company there's something special about it and um so we're giving it a lot of attention right now but uh, without, further ado, without further ado, I'm going to jump into this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do me a gigantic favor. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers. I've been floating right there around it for a long time. Uh, I'm going to jump into the video. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this. All right. First thing I'm doing with this buzz bait is pulling the skirt off. I don't even know what kind of buzz bait this is. I had a little prototype six cents buzz bait. Philip made me, but I don't know where it went. There we go. That didn't take long at all. That did not take long at all to get gagged on. A little one pounder, pound and a half. That was about my third cast. <laughs> my drag was not quite set tight enough. Almost missed him. Dang, I knew he'd be back here. Look at that perfect hole. I know y'all can see that on my camera. I threw straight in that little hole. And he gagged on it. Cool, cool. Hey, girl. Go, go. Come on. Coco just jumped in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Hey, run to the window, hurry, and look really quick, hurry. As fast as you can. Look it out in the water. Come here, girl. Come on. Back here. Back here, good girl. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Come on. Over here. Hey, girl. Hey. 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 Do what? Yeah, I'm gonna just fish till I get a whole video filmed. I already caught one. There's another one. Coco, another fish. What do you think about that? Nice to take you. Give him a mouth to mouth kiss. I know. There we go. Oh, right here in front of the, well, anybody who lives on this lake is going to know right where this fish came from. <laughs> Mmm. Sorry, buddy. Uh, yeah. So that one was not by the skiing area. Guys, um, I photoshopped that right there. I photoshopped that on the, on the bank right there, that fish. Definitely did not come from the skiing area sign. Well guys, today is a very buzz baity day as I've said on the last two videos. Today just seemed like one of those top water days. The water came up, there's a lot of rain um, in, just in the area in the last couple of days. Um, the water's up probably seven, eight inches, nine inches. So it's just enough over this water willow grass that um, you can wind something through it and above it. So I went with a buzz bait. Now listen, for those of you who, especially if you live on this lake, but for people who are just learning how to fish this water willow grass, there's a lot of ways to fish it. And you can't just watch a video and learn how every single time is gonna be because the water level dictates this grass so much. And we just learned that in a Bassmaster tournament that happened on Neely Henry, that would basically the exact same thing that happened there is what I'm doing today. The water came up and they're biting while the water's up. But once that water starts falling, it changes things. And so you'll notice that you go by and catch them one day and the water looks similar two days later, but you don't catch them. It's because the water has changed and uh, it's either fallen or, you know, or it's gotten stable or whatever. But, well, especially when it's rising, a lot of times you can get lucky and find them kind of trapped within this grass. This rod right here, dude, I'm telling y'all is a sick, sick rod. Great skipping rod. It's so light. Now I ain't swung hard on it yet. I've just been throwing a buzz bait and kind of winding into them, not really swinging. But for a, now I'll give you a better review once I get to crack a lacking. I probably won't do that today, so I can't give you a true, true review until I get to crack some on it, and swing hard. Cause I, I set the hook a little bit probably too hard, honestly. I've also been playing with something on a buzz bait. How many times do y'all throw a buzz bait and you uh, jerk it out of their mouth? You don't catch them. That. 
I don't think we. I do. There's nothing I could have done about that one. I'm going to try him again, but I don't think he's going to bite it. Got him. Big and big and dude. God. No. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Big and big and. Oh yeah, son. Let's go, baby. That was the fish I just missed on that buzz bait, and I caught him on a spinner bait. Next guess. Oh god, I'm running all up in these trees behind me. I know. Look at there. Three, three and a half. Choke the spinner bait. And another one bites the dust. Hey, and another one down. Another one down. Another one bites the dust. Hey, that was cool, man. I love when you can do stuff like that. He missed my buzz bait, and I was actually in the middle of talking about not jerking on a buzz bait. And the problem is I, I really didn't jerk, but I my line was over a tree limb on that cast. I really didn't jerk, honestly. But what I was trying to say was, I think we miss a bunch of fish on a buzz bait because we're trying to jerk and there's really no reason to jerk on a buzz bait most of the time. Sometimes you gotta jerk, but like when he goes up and bites it, he's got it. And as soon as you pull into him, he's hooked. So there's really no need to jerk like crazy. Like you see people, they get a buzz bait and they're freaking, yeah. You see that every time you always miss them on a buzz bait because you jerk too hard. There's no need to jerk that hard on a buzz bait. He's, if he comes up and eats it, it's just him and a hook. There ain't, there's nothing to have to jerk that hard about. That's my opinion. Drop a comment down below on what your opinion of a jerk, of a uh, proper hook set on a buzz bait is because like the two that i caught before that one i didn't even really set the hook i just i just reeled into them you got it. I told you don't set the hook just wind into them now that one's in cover and this is a kind of a big one that one's light big one there we go, another big large mouth, big head. Not necessarily a big fish, but that one's over three. No, that was a two and a half pounder. And I didn't set the hook, I just wound into him. That one was up in some cover and just came up and sucked it. And I just sucked him back in his big old ass head. All right, so I'm gonna open up a four aught, four aught zone lock clipping hook. And this is the one I was telling you guys about in the last video, how it's got that really cool bend in it. Just like that, that little bend right there makes all the difference in the world, pins the fish there in the corner and they won't come off. I'm gonna get a green pumpkin blue prong. And one of this pack of uh, six cents bobber stops. So I'm going to take my line, run a bobber stop up on the line, like so. Next comes your weight. This is a one ounce flipping weight. Next comes your flipping hook. Then I tie a Palomar knot. Now you're gonna slide everything down tight together and there you've got your perfect punching setup. Go. 
Ah. These fish have got such big heads on this light, man. But it, it ain't but like a four pounder, maybe. Four pounder, maybe. But the head could be closer to five pound head. All right, another buzz bait eater. Biggin. The boys don't hear me. I tried hollering at them. I know they're going to watch the video, so they'll see it there. All biggins are eating. I mean, biggins. Again, no hook set on that buzz bait. Just wind into them. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to say a huge thanks to Sixth Sense for sticking with me through thick and thin, through all of these kind of slow times that I've had throughout my YouTube channel. They understand what I'm doing, they're supportive of it, and that means a lot to me. But it would also mean a lot to me if you guys would support Six Cents, if you're ever buying any fishing tackle, make sure you use my code DC10 so that it gives me credit for being a you know a, a, a spokesperson for their company, so that they know I'm doing my job. Also, if you want the absolute best way to get fishing tackle every single month, check out the Six Sack by Six Cents. A little bit of a tongue twister, but. It's around $30 a month. You're gonna save $10 on your first month when you use my code. It's the, one of the coolest things that I've ever gotten. And the reason is you get premium colors, premium baits, and they're all six cents. They have the best hooks and they have the best paint jobs and they have the best baits. The cool thing about six, the six sack is you're gonna get a little bit of random stuff every now and then. You're still gonna get great colors, but the baits you get might not be something that you would have always tried or that you might not have ever even used before. And so the reason that's cool is you're, you get to fish with new stuff. You get to, you know, there's some crankbaits maybe you wouldn't have tried before. Maybe there's a different size uh, splashback that you wouldn't have bought before or a bigger walk-in bait that you wouldn't have bought before. This gives you the opportunity to try all of those um, at a really, really good price every single month. You're getting the baits around, I think an average of about 20 to $25 a month less than you would have paid if you bought all of those individually. So you're saving a ton of money on fish and tackle and you're getting to use some really, really cool new stuff. So if you're in the market to buy some new fish and tackle, please check out sixcentsfishing.com. And if you get thirsty, check out yallsweettea.com. We'll see all of you on the next one. Uh -huh.